I got a nice buck bedded down in the bottom here. He's pretty good looking. The sun's just starting to hit him though, so I'm assuming he's gonna get up and re-bed in a minute. And I don't know if I can get over there and get close enough in time, but I think it's worth a try. He's about a half a mile away. He's nice. He's just sitting there chewing his cud. He might. It's a little windy today, so he's tucked out of the wind. I think I might be able to get in there. Try to get close enough for a bow shot. On this hunt, I'm in one of my favorite places on the planet, New Zealand, chasing free-range fallow deer. While I've done this hunt many times in the past, due to an extensive injury and surgery on my wrist, I've never done this hunt quite like this. I'm out here chasing fallow deer with my bow. My wrist is jacked up, so I'm shooting with a mouth tab, which allows me to draw the bow with my teeth and then release the arrow. This is kind of my initial hunt with it. Gonna see if I can sneak in. I'm looking pretty much for anything. Fallow doe, buck, whatever. There's some good bucks in the area, but I'm not gonna be too picky. Just try to get in close and see if I can self-film a I'll tab bow on. I'm kind of plan my stalk, see if I can range two points and then subtract the distance and see how far he is. Like if he's too far for a shot from where I think I have cover. Yeah, about 30 yards from where I run out of cover, so it should be a likely stalk. deer between me and him. Ah, he's picked his head up. He's not like fully out, but he's definitely comfortable bedded. So, I'm gonna use that to my advantage. Oh, oh yeah. All right, come on baby. I'm getting close, I hope he's still bedded. The wind is so good. I dropped my back, he's pretty close.
I got too bold. I had to get close. 35 to 38 yards, somewhere in there. He just heard something and didn't like it. Now I gotta walk back up through the saddle to the truck.
up over this rise and I spotted a really big buck below me he's just super open and he's got a lot of does not a super easy stock with a bow uh, maybe near impossible stock with a bow but I'm just gonna sit and watch him and see where they end up going maybe they'll put themselves in a bad position There's just a lot of does around. I can make an approach, but I'm gonna spook a lot of deer. But the other thing is that's not probably my only option. Like I just don't see him getting into a better position than right now. So I'm gonna drop my pack here and uh, take off. Operation Bump and Stock.
buck just ran out and popped over the rise. <clears throat> I'm gonna give him a few minutes. Go back around, maybe just glass into where he went. Just be real careful, I don't wanna bump him. <sighs> so crazy, wow. Wow. Ah, now just the recovery. Ooh, look at that. The world's largest shed. <laughs> uh, little guy. So cool. What a great day. We got a little bit of blood coming down this gully here. Look at the way he ran. Holy smokes, look at this buck. What the heck? Incredible, whoa. Can't tell if that busted off or looks like he just grew weird there, maybe broke a little bit. Look at this thing. <sighs> Unbelievable, just, I can't believe it. Snuck in, got all the cameras set up, essentially had to do, well, I can't use my wrist to shoot, so I was, I've got this mouth tab set up and yeah, I had to get close. Archery hunting can be challenging enough, but I've never been one to shy away from a challenge. I was not going to let an injury keep me from bow hunting. When you have the right mindset and the will to adapt, you put yourself in a position for success. In all honesty, I thought that the combination of self-filming and hunting with a mouth tab would be so limiting that I'd only walk away with some video of deer running away. But I also knew that by getting out and hunting was the only way to know for sure. So here I sit on the other side finding success, the only way I know how, by being persistent and accepting every challenge thrown my way. If I've learned anything through this process, it's to just go out and do. Excuses are a dime a dozen, and by not trying, you automatically fail. So anything past that, you're already winning. If you enjoyed this hunt film and you think fallow deer hunting would be an incredible adventure, well, you're in luck because I'm actually giving away a hunt with me in this particular place for fallow deer. You can bow hunt or rifle hunt. All you have to do, click the link in the description and we'll give you all the ways to enter. I'm really excited to get out in the field with one of you. Best of luck.